Hello everyone, I'm Jarkin, and this is Day by Daylight. I promised ElementalFarmskid.com that I will upload this video, so here it is. I didn't notice at the beginning, but there's only three of us, and also the Jake with no meter is just fucking standing there in the corner and he will continue to do so even when the killer comes and checks the terrain he didn't see him goes kicks the generator goes in checks again and Jake is standing there. Now, the killer will be back in a sec. So I'm not moving from my hideout. And now he sees Jake. And Jake doesn't give a fuck. Now, when he goes on the ground, he's starting to move. But he will go on a hook, nevertheless. I need to stay here. And this fucking crow is starting to fly around my head. Motherfucking piece of shit. And it won't go away. It's flying around. So I need to move. To because this crow is literally giving me away. Fuck off, you fucking bird. Now, Jake's go on the hook, but he has no meter, so he can unhook himself. Nevertheless, I'm gonna go and get him. And the crow is still there. So, there's no point in healing Jake because he cannot be healed so I run away and Jake is right behind me good job mate nothing else to do let's go back on the generator at this point Jake is probably being chased but I'm not sure now he's down, so I can go back to the other generator. And meantime, the third person done the generator, so that's good. Jake goes back on the hook. My options are to do the generator, go save Jake, or hope that the third person saves him. But as he has no meter, I know he can unhook himself, so that's what I'm hoping for. Let's speed things up. While Jake unhooked himself and probably being chased, I went to finish the other generator and meet up with Lori. We finished it, Jake is still on the run, so it's time to find the third one. Jake is down, he's going on the hook, and that will be his last hook. And that's also where I'm gonna make my mistake, right there. So I need to get the hell out of here. There's only one generator remaining. And I'm looking for the other one since I blew the skill check. And while I'm doing so, there's a killer somewhere. So I hide. He's over there, kicking the generator. Looking around. And. I'm making some noise to lure him in 
and I hope Lori is doing the last generator. After a while doing the generator, I've been spotted and that's the beginning of the end for me. Now, I'm going on a hook and this might be a surprise for you and for me. Lori doesn't get the chance to save me. I'm gonna wait until the killer goes far from me and I will have lots of luck. I will be so lucky because I'm going to unhook myself and run away. I'm trying to hide and here he comes. So I want to be as close as possible to him because he can see in the front of him but not below him. So at this point if he wouldn't stomp on me, he wouldn't fucking see me. The exits are open, I'm going back on the floor. From this point on, I am being camped and I don't want to risk Lori coming here, so I just let go. So she can run away. The only thing Laurie can do now is to escape and she does, which is a good thing. Um, after the game we had a little chat with the killer, he's actually quite nice guy. Uh, remember guys, you don't have to come up whole games to catch the survivors and if you can't, well, that's on you. So anyway, thanks for the game. Thanks for watching and see you next time.